Out of Pinchao's garage, and on this one, we're unboxing. What are we unboxing? Well, we got a box from SMP. Let's see what we got. Now, this is for the Corrado that we've been working on ever so slowly and quickly, <laughs> you know, based on the amount of time and effort we got. But we got a bunch of cool parts for the Corrado. So let's see what we got here. Number one, this is a super cool part and I'll explain that in a minute. Let's see here. Oh, this is cool. Yep, 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 yep. I'll explain as I go through everything, but we're going to take everything out first. Obviously these don't come in new, <laughs> and they're extremely greasy, so these are axle cups and these are 100 millimeter axle cups. Okay, what is a 100 millimeter axle cup? Well, number one, they come on Mark IIs, and these cups allow you to they shorten the distance inside the uh, uh, for the axle so when you use a mark II axle on the car <clears throat> number one it allows you to bolt on a mark II axle to a mark IV transmission that's number one number two is um, they shorten the distance so you can actually uh, they don't they get the proper length or overall for a mark IV transmission to on a mark II car technically because Corrado's are technically Mark II's. So that's what this is right here. Axle cups. And these are 100 millimeter axle cups. Remember that 100 millimeters. Okay, that's the first part. We'll move that out of the way. Next is the special bracket on a Corrado. Now this bracket, if you have a Corrado with power steering, um, uh, power steering on a Corrado is a very, very special uh, monstrosity. And when you have power steering on there and you want to get rid of the power steering to go to an older fashion or an older style um, brake system, because number one, you can't source parts for the Corrado. Number two, um, it costs a fortune. Number three, um, it's just difficult to take care of and repair. Um, SMP makes an awesome, awesome bracket that pretty much converts it to a manual style uh, brake system, uh, which allows you to install a manual style brake system on the car. Um, this lets you put a Mark II brake booster, and you can use either a Mark II or a late Mark II uh, master cylinder, uh, which is all you need to get the, uh, the brake system going. Uh, the next part is here is your mounting plate for your clutch uh, slave or clutch master and then you got your right here your um, your slave cylinder for your mark 4 transmission and pretty much uh, mounts uh, depends on how you want to mount it but obviously here you go it's pretty it's very very straightforward nothing crazy fancy nothing special um, very very simple design elegant easy and perfectly put together um, the Corrado's actually use a master cylinder but since we're doing a, a swap and converting it the they don't mount correctly uh, so you need to get a proper bracket to get this done right uh, fluid reservoir right here and all that so that's easy now this is my favorite part right here. This is a super super cool part and I'll explain what we're looking at. To a Mark II owner this is pretty much a speedometer cable. To a Mark II and a Mark IV owner 
This is a conversion cable to go from Mark IV to a Mark II. Pretty much on your O2J transmission, you have a digital uh, speedo sensor. Well, what's really cool since Mark IV transmissions are still old school, SMP figured out a way to convert it from digital to analog. And this is pretty much all you need. This is cool little cable. Um, prices are on their website. Just check the link right here below or check the description um, uh, for that so you can get your parts all in there. So that's the unboxing of all the new stuff for the Corrado. And then the last big piece right here the wire harness. So the cool thing about SMP is they can make wire harnesses. They can make stuff work on old cars to do your swaps. These guys are legit. Sorry about the crappy bag here that he shipped it in. It's alright. I mean it's an old harness. Who cares what it comes in as long as it works to me. Um, and we're going to open this guy, uh, bad boy up really quick here. And I love how SMP ships you harnesses. Like, they come labeled, number one, which is extremely important. They come wired already. And it's legitimately just a plug and play system. They, I, I just love these. These guys are legit. And we had an issue with one of these uh, the, on the harness. Uh, the harness was actually damaged for the Mark IV portion of it. And I noted that to them, and they repaired it for me, and they gave me a, a new, a new ignition or a, a, what was it on here? Let me read the note really quick. Uh, mechanical speed oil tack amp for MK2 cluster, fresh coil harness. So this right here is the ignition coil harness that they refresh for me. Um, obviously, you can't get them brand new, but you can get them repaired and get them taken care of. So this is legit right here. I'm, I'm very very happy with this harness. Like again, I'm very very happy with SMP's uh, workmanship and how they keep everything super super tidy and they get it done for you. Uh, it's so good. So good. Um, and they get you pretty much all labeled here. So like right down here, good example. Right here labeled it right here so what is this for body so this is a ground cable b-o-d-y body another ground cable so two grounds obviously this is a ground cable so I mean that doesn't really surprise me uh, let's see here mm, they didn't label this one I have to find that one out a little bit more likely it's like probably oil pressure or something Let's see here. Like right here, these are actually Mark II connectors or Corrado connectors that they splice into this and make everything work. I would never have figured this out, honestly. Uh, same with this part right here. I mean, I don't even know what this belongs to. I'm going to find out when I'm working on the Corrado. Oh, man. I'm going to figure everything out as I work. Um, but it should be pretty straightforward. I mean, these guys, like I said, they know what they're doing. And they pre-wire the whole entire harness for you. Uh, this is, looks like it's just a straight to Y1. Okay, I'll figure that one out. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much everything from SMP with their swap kit to go from power, pretty much power steering to manual steering with a proper bracket. Really hard to get parts um, if you're trying to go try to do a 1.8T swap with a Corrado and trying to do it um, with OEM parts I mean you're gonna have fun trying to hunt parts down it's not as easy as it used to be they're not as common I'm so happy for SMP that they put the effort in knowing that we want to swap cars and we want to build older cars and not deal with the newer stuff so thanks guys thanks for tuning in to the special unboxing of uh, the new care package from SMP for our uh, Corrado build Stay tuned for so much more. Again, if you want a link to uh, SMP's uh, products, hit up on the description down below. And in, 
If you guys have any questions about it or questions on the Corrado build, please feel free to ask me. I have a lot of videos coming right now actually uh, towards this build. It's just been very busy and hectic. Obviously we're using a brand new camera now that you guys are seeing right now. That's what we're using uh, to film this. Uh, so thank you again to everybody who participated in the fundraiser to help me get some new gear for our YouTube channel because we desperately needed it. Thanks again everybody for watching this episode of Pinchas Garage. And as always we're going to break, fix, and repeat. Peace out everyone.